All right, we are putting on the timer as we always do. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi, I am Andrea Leiden and I am one of the school adjustment counselors at Northampton High. Cool, and we, we are neighbors. Yes, we are. We are neighbors, and so we're right next door to each other, although not next door, not but at the moment. <laughs> back to back, we're back to back. Yep. We hear each other. I have other's... climbed my fence to get into your backyard. Yeah, it would not be hard. Um, <laughs> We hear each other's the screaming children, but in a positive way. Um, so, so you're an adjustment counselor at the school, and your job is to meet with students. Describe the job a little bit, and then like what what it might look like this year. Okay, so I mostly work with students who are um, on an IEP, and they'll have counseling on their IEP, and um, I meet with anywhere from about thirty-five to forty students. Um, in a year that can change a little bit. And I work with kids for as long as they need me to. So it could be all the way from freshman year until senior year. And I try to work really closely with families, um, if that makes sense for the kids. And I work very closely with their teachers to help them kind of get the um, social emotional component of their education in place and um, support them in ways that they need it. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've, we've had many conversations about students and it's for me super useful. Um, I, I want to know what's going on as much as, as can be disclosed. I want to know what students are going through. And often I will, when I'm kind of, um, when I'm wondering about a student, I'll go to you or guidance to get guidance and be like, okay, well, this is making a little bit more sense now. So fortunately our rooms are close to one another. So um, yeah. it makes it really easy. Um, and I'm also more than happy. I am out and about in the building. Slow so down. Like, Sorry. <laughs> I'm just yelling at this guy who's just ripping through here. I apologize. I have kids, guys. So, you know, sorry, Andrea. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I do that on my street. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, your street is people go fast. I know. You know? I know. It's so fast. always for, like, you know, yelling. Like, oh, yeah. Like, well, you got to. It, it, it has an impact. Um. Now, what would, it, uh, so what would it be like? Also, you, you are not alone. And that's one of the things I love about Northampton High is that teachers are really interested in trying to figure out and be creative on how to work with kids. Um, and so I am out and about in the building all the time, like collaborating with people and finding people in their classrooms or, you know, helping kids kind of if they're having a hard time in class, they can come down to my room and have a break. Um, lots of different, lots of different ways to be creative in our you know not so big but decent sized public school yeah totally yeah and you guys do a great job um what do you think this year will look like it's a little different year so what will it look like to be seeing you and for you to be communicating i don't honestly know um i feel like last year uh when we went into remote I was able to maintain contact with almost all of the kids in my caseload and some of them didn't want it at all right away. And then towards the end of the year, they were like, no, I really need some time. And we made plans and had conversations. Some of them we, I was regular, had regular conversations with and I was trying to be as creative as possible. So if it's through um, Google Meet or Zoom or just a telephone call, or a FaceTime chat, like whatever works, um, I am more than happy to try to make happen for kids because I feel as if that's really necessary in this remote learning. I oh, also think, yeah. that, you know, where before there was a lot of early morning meetings, it was more afternoons were happening with conversations, but yep. we'll see how it goes this year because it's a different school schedule this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so key right now. I feel like students should not hesitate to reach out. Absolutely. Um, yeah. To do some in person meetings, I think I just want to make sure that everybody involved is comfortable with that. So, if it means meeting up somewhere outside, that's yeah. great. We can work out time in the building. I'm also interested in doing that. I just have to work it out with parents and kids. I think that's excellent. That, yeah. that's, that would be really, I think, satisfying for everybody. Yeah. Um, now, one last question What would you like when you were a ninth grader entering high school? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good, right? I have to research that. Sounds I, like one we need to research. 
I think that one of the things that I was not, I had a hard time with um, growing up is that I, I switched schools a lot. And so every transition was really difficult. So when I was in ninth grade, I went to a high school in a town that I didn't know. And I didn't know anybody. And mm -hmm. um, it was really challenging. And I felt as if I was pretty nervous a lot of the time. And so I actually ended up then transitioning my fifth grade year into my public high school in town which was a much more comfortable experience for me. It was a smaller school and I knew some of the people there. And so it was a better, a better fit. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I liked riding horses. I liked uh, reading. I was probably a huge nerd, but yeah, but like a, like a chain, like a Jane Austen nerd, right? Yeah. Like reading, reading, reading Wuthering Heights on, on, on horseback. I get it. I get it. That's cool. Hey, well, thanks so much for doing this for us. And if you have Ms. Leiden as your adjustment counselor, you're very, very fortunate. Yeah, well, thank All you for doing this for him. I'm really happy you're doing this for kids. I'm, yeah. And Mom's a great teacher, so you better hope you get him. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Thanks so much. Awesome. All right. Bye-bye.